Welcome to another segment of Import Legacy. This week, we're talking about how Latin American music, movies, and TV shows have influenced Western culture and vice versa. I'd love to talk about two genres of music that have various origins and about how they became what they are today. The rhythm of salsa, known for its mix of African bass drums and Spanish guitars, it was heard and loved by American soldiers throughout the Cuban War in 1898. It was so popular that American radio stations moved to Cuba to record the first group in Cuba that consists of 10 sisters that played the orchestra. They were recognized as Orchestra's Anaconda. It was one of the leading orchestras in Cuba and one of the first to play a music festival in the Big Apple. Even musicians from the United States like Louis Armstrong, Jelly Roll Morton, and Dizzy Gillespie started to implement Latin American rhythm into their music. It was then that Latin jazz grew for its dynamic rhythms in different genres. Unfortunately, Cuban musicians hit a wall. It happened after Fidel Castro came into power in Cuba that the diplomatic relations that existed between Cuba and America ended. Gloria Estefan represented a connection between Cuba and Western culture through her musical inspired by her life. She produced music in both Spanish and English like Mi Tierra and Conga. Let's not forget to recognize the queen of Cuban salsa, Celia Cruz, one of the most unforgettable musicians that came from Cuba and played her music worldwide. Cubans were not permitted to enter the United States. Many thought this was the end of salsa, but one group took their rhythm and mixed influences and began what is known as the New Rican salsa. The Puerto Ricans created a new classic salsa with suave and refined rhythms that followed a similar structure to that of jazz music. Mark Anthony is recognized for the style of salsa, beloved by many. Moving on to another Caribbean island, specifically the Dominican Republic, land of the plantains and the merengue. Merengue típico is the name of the original genre that was very popular in the mid-19th century. It was considered as the music for the lower class. That is, until Trujillo, past dictator of the Dominican Republic and avid merengue fan, changed all of that. In the 30s, Trujillo asked a variety of bands to write merengue music to promote his political agenda. His dictatorship was recognized as a reign of terror for many Dominicans. Their somber state was reflected in their merengue. It was after his assassination in the 1960s that merengue began to incorporate other styles of music. The genre was influenced by the modern, liberal, and dances from the United States, forever changing the rhythms of merengue. The first to promote merengue, known worldwide, was Johnny Ventura, one of the people who helped bring merengue to radios and television. Even using combinations and rhythm from American rock and Cuban salsa that moved many Western culture. Now, we find ourselves moving onto the big screen of Latin American films. Behind the big Hollywood sign are Latin American directors blowing up the box office. Starting with the influencer Alejandro Gonzalez, winner of various awards and director of The Revenant. We can't forget about Guillermo del Toro, director of The Pan's Labyrinth, and also recipients of various awards. Latin American culture has even influenced American television shows. For example, the famous telenovela Ugly Betty that had been adapted for American television. And how could we forget the success of the telenovela Jane the Virgin? It's my favorite. Hmm. We also can't forget the influence that Latin American culture has had on children programs like Dora the Explorer, Go Diego Go, and Elena of Avalor. Recently, you can see the influence of Western culture in animated films. The movie Coco, Book of Life, and Despicable Me 2, all influenced by Mexican culture. It was after their big success that other places worldwide became inspired by Latin American culture. Well, we've arrived at the end of this week's Import Legacy. Tune in next time and follow us on all our social media. See ya. And merengue. Merengue all day, every merengue. day. Or any other Spanish salsa. <laughs> Spanish music. <laughs> <laughs>